Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omni Factory. And um I didn't do very much. Well, kind of. I I took a trip on the railway. Cuz there's a rail there's a railway station not too far from where I am. So I went on it. And as you can see, so this is where we are at the moment. This is my house here. And Okay, have you frozen? Oh, there you go. Okay, didn't go too far in that direction. I went in this direction. First of all, I went on the bendy tracks and then came back on the straight track. And looking at it now, it doesn't look too far, but it did feel like I was going forever. I did end up about uh, 2,000 blocks away from home. Um, it's very pretty, but it's, um, yeah, didn't see very much. And, um, I did a little bit of mining, not much, and I made this, uh, furnace, the copper furnace, which is the iron furnace with copper ingots all around it. And that got me. I didn't claim the reward because all it is is the um, Omni, Omni pennies, Omni pennies. So that's the only thing I did between episodes. Also, I went and did a bit of research on the framing table. And basically, you put your framed drawer here in the middle. You put two items that you want to. Um, color your drawer or decorate your drawer here so where the I sh it should it should have occurred to me where the um, arrows are pointing is what's going to be changed uh, let's see if we can put something else ducks no it's not going to take dark steel um, do we have wood we need something that's a different color just so I can illustrate what I mean is it going to take the logs yes so if we take a step back you can see that the the trim on the inside and around the edge is the plank the inside is cobblestone and the outsides the flat sides are granite and that's what you use this table for so then if I took this out of the table I would have a drawer that is this kind of monstrosity all right so that is what it is used for it took me a bit of while but I did find it so if you wanted you can have a drawer that was all granite for example and have it there with these weird looking things you know it depends how you want to uh, actually I don't even know if it takes the bricks I didn't try it let's see uh, Mossy brick. Are we full? Right, let's put those away. And let's take that. No. We want the flat sides. We'll take that off. And put in the mossy bricks. So you can see it's got the mossy bricks on the flat side, granite on the front, and granite running all around the edges so if i wanted to i could make i could make all the mossy bricks and then put them in the walls and then they'd look like boss, mossy bricks which is kind of a cool idea actually but um so yeah so that's what that table is for that was the other thing right so this week what i want to do is um where is it this one to from dusts to wires and it's a long grocery list of things they want us to get but it's all kind of connected and I'm I think I can because you need one thing to make I need copper dust to make the red oil alloy dust and then to make the red ingots I need the alloy then I need iron then I need and the iron I can make conducive iron and so on so I'm hoping that as well, as long as I get one thing it will update and then I could go ahead and use that one thing to make the next thing 
so let's see if that works so to make the copper dust I need a mortar and we have one oh what do we need stone and iron do we have any stone um, there's some cobblestone let's smelt that up okay um, let's put away let's put away some of this stuff while we're trying to get our head round things that can go there the granite we can put here wood let's put it back in this crafting table the stones we can put in here stones sticks sticks and stones and I've got some more ingots to put away I was looking at making the compact the um not the compacting drawer the sorting drawer for this where it's a central drawer that you just put everything into and it will put it into available slots but that recipe has been tweaked quite heavily uh, dark steel is there what's that silver only have three of those that's more dark steel so we are not going to make the um, the draw controller because that involves things that we have not done yet okay we've got more redstone we can put away we've got charcoal we can put away what's that chrome dust no iron dust we will need that let's see if that has updated iron dust yes one of 32 good and then if I put the iron let me see let's put the redstone away let's put the iron dust here does it still say I had one iron dust no I have to have it in my inventory okay that's not looking good maybe if I compete if I complete all it will um that would be okay so we'll try that as well uh, what I needed four or five I needed five pieces of um, stone and uh, one more please thank you right let's go make the mortar because the mortar you can use to make dust okay so we need copper dust did I, I have 16 we want 14 All right, that's that. That's completed. Now to make the red alloy, I need redstone. I should, did I keep any redstone? Oh, I did keep redstone on me. Cool. Okay, so to make, uh, which dust is it? Red alloy dust? Red alloy dust. Red alloy dust. That's one copper to four. One copper to four redstone. Okay. So, and we want fourteen of those. Let's just. If I just put that there and then balance grid I'd forgotten that was there that is such a useful feature right so that's 14 red alloy right so now we need 14 ingots um, that so that you cook up let's put you away Um, I know there's no draw controller just about to click the door draw controller let's put away the nether quartz 
redstone, redstone alloy ingot. Do I need that? I do. So that's three less than what we have to make. Right. Um, what else? Iron dust. Let me get some iron going. There is iron in here. Alright, let's put you in the slightly slower Yeah, let's put you in the slightly slower iron oven. No, nope, need to come back. It says fourteen of those ingots. And now the thirty two iron dust that's going. And I'm pretty sure I have iron ingots. I could probably just use those. I have 27 and we need 32 okay it's better than nothing so we need five more exactly right and we need to make iron dust I have it all written down so I don't need to keep going back to the thing so I keep looking to see what I need iron water okay so we've got the iron dust and now we need conducive iron dust okay con our dust And that's one to one iron to redstone. Okay, so 32. And then we need to smelt those up into ingots. Uh, where are we there? Actually, we have enough there. So I can put back the charcoal. I do have charcoal in here, don't I? No. I can go there. We should probably put all the Omni pennies. Actually, you know what? I haven't checked the shop since they've changed it. Because we now have 65... Oh. We have 65 Omni pennies. We should really see what we what we can spend it on. Um, how do you access the coin shop? No, that's not it. Um, from this maybe? No claim chunks. Heal. How do you access? It used to be from the book, wasn't it? Um, no. No, that's not it either. I don't know how you access the coin shop. It, uh, didn't it used to be from this tab? I'm sure it was but now it's that's that's not going to be any of it I'm not sure how you access it let's just put these in a drawer because we can't spend it right now I'm sure when we first when you know when we first started the pack you could access it from the quest book and now I'm not sure how you access it Okay, so we have six more to do. Oh, the equal sign makes the... Oh no, that's not what I wanted. 
I'm not even sure how to zoom it back out. Shift, maybe? Shift? No. Okay, I made my mini map really small and now I don't know how to get back out of it. But that's fine. Um, oh, that is annoying. Okay, let's see if we can work it out. J for journey map. And of course, when I equals zoom in, none is zoom out. Okay, we need to assign a key to zoom out. Options. Oh, the pack's been updated. Did I say the pack's been updated? I can't remember. But it's been updated. Uh, weather. Let's turn that all the way down. And the master volume. Turn that down too. But yes, the pack, the pack was updated last week. And it's been updated again. So this is now the... Oh, I can't remember. The Hunger Games update? Some... It's not the Bountiful update. That was the last one. This is the new one. Options, controls, um, category would be journey map. It would help if I could spell. Uh, zoom out. That was minus. Okay. What should we make for zoom out? End? Or is that something else? Yeah, that could work. Oh, there you go. Right, so now we've sorted that out. Do we have... All right, we've got our conductive iron. Back the beginning. That one. Red alloy plate. All right, we're going to need our hammer. And that, and the hammer. No? Okay. Let's have a look round. Work table, plates. Nope. Hammers and plates. A plate? Okay. So we want the hammer. Where's the hammer? We've got a hammer here. And red alloy. Nope, you don't want to. There you go. Oh, it's only seven. Oh, man. Well, that's a... Was there another way to make plates? Oh, good grief. All right. Um, I'm fine, clay plate. Right, these are all plates. A compressor would have made it one to one. Alloy smelter, extruder, compactor. Everything else would have made it one to one. All right, let, let's say, for the sake of argument, thermal, uh, thermal expansion contract. Oh, okay. All this looks fairly normal no stainless steam plate for a machine frame oh no so that's not even an option okay so we need to make was it red red alloy plates it said no it said only wanted seven we made seven we made seven We made seven, yes. Okay, no, that was correct. So, times one red alloy wire. I was starting to panic there. 
I don't think you could tell. I think I held it together pretty well. <laughs> but red wire alloy. Okay. So we need a plate and a wire cutter. We have wired cutters over here. Yes. So we need seven seven of those. Alright, that's that. Um, 16 conductive iron plates. Wrong way. I might, I might knock out this middle wall, I don't know. Because I don't actually need it. So how many do we need? No, yes. So 16 of those, which is correct. And one conductive red, no, not one. Did I copy that down wrong? And then we need 16 conductive iron wire. So that would be the plates and the cutters. No, does it have to be three by three? Okay. It has to be in a three by three. Right, you go in the middle, you go to one side, and we have that. So that should be finished. Right. And we get some Omni, Omni Nickels. Okay. Alright, so we've got that. And then that opens up cables. The most basic cables, such as these, can be wrapped in their wire insulation by by hand. Later on with more advanced types of cables you'll need an assembler and liquid rubber to perform this but you can do it the easy way for now. So we need one okay the red alloy cables and rubber sheets and we need seven of those so we have seven red, red iron cables Where do, we have six rubber sheets And again, to refresh my my poor memory, rubber sheets is two sticky resin and a hammer. And I saw some sticky resin in a chest. There's one. There's two. Is the hammer in here? And uh, no. Yes. Is it below the hammer? Well, it's either going to be above or below. Right. Got that. And then the iron plates. No, the iron wire. Red wire. And the rubber sheets should give us red alloy cable. And then from, oh, this is where we start getting to interesting things now. So power storage. Although there are several types of batteries you can make, lithium batteries are the best option by far, Have with the largest ca storage capacity and no downsides. Cadmium is second best and sodium is third. Lithium is possible to find inside of tungsten veins. However, these are fairly rare. Consider buying some lithium from the coin store if you can't find. It's in the bottom far corner-ish. Cadmium, cadmium is so tough to get at this point, it's not even worth considering. However, sodium is plenty enough. You just need, you can get it by smelting salt or rock salt, among other options. Just know that sodium batteries can only hold half the power of a lithium battery, and they want 
small battery, four small battery holes. Okay, we have loads of salt, I've seen that. Small battery, is that how you spell it? Yeah. Okay, tin plates and red alloy cable. Okay, do I have tin? Let's do a search for tin. Oh yeah, I got plenty. Let's put the cobblestone in there. Put some tin to smelt up. Put it in the faster furnace. Actually, let's break that coal down into tiny coal. Because I really don't like wasting coal. That really bugs me. Tiny charcoal, tiny coal, that's fine. Um, smell half of that for now. So that's that to make the four small batteries. But yeah, I wish I could work out where the coin store is. I was pretty sure it was connected to the book before. If I press L, um, husbandry, adventure. Oh, that is, that is trippy. That looks like one of those, um, uh, you know, the hidden pictures. You look at the stereoscopic background and you have a hidden picture. Um, trash can, claim trunks. I don't think it's going to be in any of these. Uh, options, controls, category. Okay, S T O. No, there is no. There's no coin store. I'm gonna have to go and have a look. Ooh, Omni nickels. But I'm. It, you, I'm pretty sure it used to be in that tab for the for the quest book. And knowing me, I'm probably missing something very obvious. But um, but yeah, I'll have to have a look in a second. If we get fourteen, and then plates are over here. There's seven tin plates. And what were we making? Small battery hull. Okay, small battery hull. I can make three. I need another another tin plate. Oh, no, didn't mean to throw that away. No, plates are over in this corner. I keep forgetting that, you know, you should have everything set up. Um, ten. I only want one more. And there we go. So we have our batteries and we get some more Omni pennies. So next week we can start looking at the block module. Ah, a good way to find a specific ore you're missing is the block module for your scanner. Right click the block module against the ore you're searching for, then put it inside the scanner and wander around scanning. The range is significantly longer than it is when using the modules that detect all the ores, and you even have room for a second range module if you've got an ender pearl lying around. You can combo this with buying ores you're missing from the shop to act as a sample, then find a full vein within the block module.
What do we need for that? Uh, the scannable app. I'm just having a look because we're not going to do that this week. There's not enough time. But. Alright, so we want the block module. A blank scanner module and chiseled and stone. Coated circuit board. Sticky resin and acacia. You know what? I think we could do this quickly. No. Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so... Wood slabs and two sticky resin. We need to make two, so that's four sticky resin. Do I have... Oh, i got six. And slabs. Okay. I oh, know we only wanted six. All right, so the blank scanner is. Okay, we've got six gold, gold wire, gold plate. Um, we have gold. We need how many gold wires do we need? Three. Okay, we can do that. And the wire cutters, where are you? I oh, know we need to turn it into plates first. We need six. We need six. So we need double for the plates. That's right. Does that give us three gold plates? And we need a three by three to make the wires. I see now why they want you to to have the work tables. It didn't. It, well, I, when you're not used to working like this, because why? Why, why, what, 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 what have I done? Hold on. Oh yeah, wrong way around. Yeah, when you're not used to working like this, it takes a bit of while to get used to. But, I can see why. And we need a piece of stone. Stone, we have stone. Uh, block scanner. Block. And that's that. And then this is where we are definitely going to end the episode. So, to recap, let's take our Omni Pennies. We have, well, you made the, fur, the copper furnace off camera, and you've seen it's a bit faster, but the major thing we did was from dust to wires, and we also made some cables, and we have a block module to help with our scanning. So then that will help immensely when it comes to um, mining. So I just need to work out where the coin shop is. Because like I said, I am probably missing it. It's in some place very obvious and I've just not seen it. But I will, I will research it and next week we should be able to access the coin shop and have lots more specific ores that we can get hold of. So, oh hello Skelly. I know you can't see me, but hello. Oh, there's loads out there. It's probably a spawner somewhere. So, thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I really do like reading your comments and suggestions. They've been really helpful. And um, I will see you in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.